Hello lovelies, this is Pepsi Glow. Welcome back to my channel. Pepsi Glow is a new channel on YouTube. So please, I need you to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe, watch my videos, like my videos, share my videos. And please turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. So today we are going to continue with our cream making class. Our organic cream making class. In today's class, we are going to be discussing essential oils importance of essential oils in your organic cream making so beautiful people let's move over to my workstation let's continue with today's class hello lovelies you're welcome to today's class welcome to my workstation so today we are going to be discussing essential oils in your lotion and cream making how to use essential oils in your organic cream formulation and your organic lotions formulation when it comes to essential oils i love essential oils in my lotion and cream formulation because most essential oils have healing properties most essential oils have anti-inflammatory properties antibacterial properties antiseptic properties which help to treat protect the skin from free radicals so i'm going to be discussing these essential oils with you so that you will know when you're making your creams and lotions you will know which one to use for which skin issue or condition i'm going to start with rose essential oil rose oil if you want to make a cream or a lotion for anti-aging as you want to reduce wrinkles fine lines from the skin then rose oil is for you you can use it to formulate your anti-aging lotion and, and your anti-aging creams. It will help to slow down signs of aging. It will help to prevent premature aging. It's also good for dry and mature skin. A few drops of rose essential oil will go a long way. You don't need to pour plenty of essential oils in your formulation. In your cream and lotion formulation, at least 10 to 20 drops of essential oils are okay you can make an essential oil mix you can combine two different essential oils but please when you're doing this have a purpose in mind ask yourself what issues or what skin conditions do you want to treat so the next essential oil i will be talking about is aloe vera oil when you want to make a cream or formulate a natural cream for sunburn aloe vera oil is for you aloe vera oil can help to clear sunburn it can also help to treat acne it helps to hydrate the skin and moisturize the skin it has anti-inflammatory properties and anti antioxidant properties that helps to protect the skin from acne and acne causing bacteria so when you're making a face cream a face lotion few drops of aloe vera oil can go a long way so that's for aloe vera oil the next oil i'm going to be talking about is turmeric essential oil turmeric essential oil is also very good in your lotions in your lotion and cream formulations when you want to make a, a cream or a lotion a natural cream or natural natural lotion to repair damaged skin turmeric oil is for you turmeric oil will help to revive the skin and reveal its natural glow it will also help to heal damaged skin especially skin damaged by using harsh skincare products so few drops of uh, turmeric essential oils in your natural creams and your natural lotions will also go a long way then lavender essential oil is the next essential oil i'm going to talk about i love uh, lavender essential oil it has healing properties it treats and heals the skin it heals scars it helps to heal stretch marks it is a healing essential oil that's why it is very popular with organic skincare formulators they use it a lot because of its healing properties it has anti-inflammatory antiseptic properties that it heals the skin nicely and lavender oil is also very good for dry skin if you want to treat and moisturize dry skin 
lavender oil is for you. If you want to fade old scars, lavender oil is for you. If you want to protect the skin from acne causing bacteria, lavender oil is for you. Please always have a purpose in mind when you're formulating your natural lotions and your natural creams. So the next oil that I'm going to be talking about is the next essential oil that I'm going to be talking about is frankincense essential oil. Frankincense essential oil also repairs damaged skin, especially matured skin. It's very, 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 very good for dry and mature skin. It has anti-aging properties. So when you're making a lotion or a cream for anti-aging, frankincense essential oil will go a long way. It also helps to treat acne and also helps to repair damaged skin. The next oil that I'm going to introduce to you is lemon oil. Lemon oil is good for oily skin. If you want to make a cream or a lotion for an oily skin person, lemon oil or any other citrus uh, essential oil like orange oil, tangerine essential oil, we do. Apart from that, lemon oil, lemon essential oil, orange essential oil, tangerine essential oils give a nice fragrance to your lotions, to your natural lotions and your natural creams. With lemon essential oils, orange essential oil, tangerine essential oil, you don't even use, need to use fragrance. It's also very good for people for oily face because it helps to treat acne. So a few drops of lemon essential oil is very good in your cream and lotion formulation. So the next oil that I'm going to introduce to you that is also very good when it comes to your lotions and your cream is mint, peppermint essential oil, mint essential oil and eucalyptus essential oil. I'm going to be discussing these two essential oils. These essential oils are very good when you're making creams and lotions for a sensitive skin person. You know, sens sensitive skin people react easily to things. So, mint essential oil and eucalyptus essential oil has soothing, soothing ingredients. They calm the skin and they suit the skin. So, when you want to make a cream or a lotion that will suit and calm the skin and is good for a sensitive skin person, then eucalyptus, eucalyptus, I think E is silent, eucalyptus and mint essential oils are for you. So, lovely, there are still lots of essential oils out there, but these are the ones I have. So, these essential oils here, we have to we have to improve and make your, 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 your lotions and your creams super effective. So they are very necessary in your natural creams and in your natural lotions. You can use these essential oils in few, in few drops. It, you are not even advised to use more than 10 to 20 drops in your creams and your lotions formulation because too much of everything is bad. Too much of essential oils in your lotions and your creams will end up irritating the skin. But they are very, very necessary in your lotions and your cream, your natural lotions and your natural cream formulation. So beautiful people, we've come to the end of this video. If this video is helpful, I need you to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe, watch my videos, like my videos, share my videos. And please turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.